Hello friends, today we are going to study about median for group data. So these are group data and we are going to find median. First previously we were finding in lower classes we were finding median for ungrouped data. At that time directly we were arranging the data in the ascending order and for odd when we were finding the middle number. Here also we have to do the same. We have to arrange this frequency in ascending order and then we have to find the median class here no we will directly not get the median but we will get a median class but for that first we have to find out cumulative frequency in that data we were arranging them uh, as in uh, arranging them in ascending order here we have to find out this cumulative frequency it is something related to arranging them in ascending order only so it was 4 so first we are going to write 4 this is CFI CFI means cumulative frequency then here directly we are getting 4 then 4 plus 5 gives you 9 9 plus 13 gives you 9, 10, 12 22 22 plus 20 gives you 40 42 plus 14 gives you 56 56 plus 8 gives you 64 and 64 plus 4 gives you 68 so the last number of cumulative frequency will be the sum of frequency. This is our sum of frequency. Now first we have to find n by 2 means the total of frequency divided by 2. So we will get middle number. If you want to find middle number of 10 numbers then how we were finding 10 divided by 2. So fifth will be the middle number. Same here also 68 by 2 that is 30. So we have to check where 34 will come. It will come somewhere here between 22 and 42, 34 will come here. here. So we have to see the next frequency and that will be our median class. Understand? So 34 is coming here. We have to see greater than that frequency 34. So 42 is greater than 30. Four. So we have to see that you can see and this class is called median class 125 to 145. Now the formula for finding the median. Median equals to L plus N by 2 minus cumulative frequency by frequency into H. One by one I will explain what is a L. What is capital L? Capital L means the lower limit of this median class. This is your capital L that is 125. This is called lower limit. So we have to take lower limit of median class 125. Now n by 2 we had find out here. n by 2 is 34 so I am not writing here. Then CFI cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is always less than n by 2 n by 2 is 34 so we have to see the previous number from where we had started this is our cumulative frequency and only frequency means the frequency of that class this is the class so look here always this will come in this descending order or you have to mug up this so that you never you will never take any wrong frequency otherwise students are making sometimes they took take 42 as cf or sometimes they take 14 as f so please be careful for that and now our frequency is 20 and remaining is H. H means the class interval. So gap between these two is 20. So these are our all the things. Now we have to keep it here. One more mistake they generally make is they first add. Look here. We have to use the mass. First we have to solve this. Then we have to multiply and la at last we have to add this with L. I am doing it. Now n by 2 is 34 minus CF is 22 then F is 20 into H. H is also 20. Means 125 plus 12 by 20 into 20. Now we have to, we can cancel this. So 125 plus 12 gives you 137. So this is our medium.
and always remember median is always between our median class frequency means our class is 125 to 145 so you will get median between these two numbers only this is our median so this way we can find median for any group data thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you in my next video i am going to tell you about less than type of frequency and more than type of thank you so much for watching my video